Hey tribe, I'm Steph and this is Krista and we're going to talk about pulling or pull-ups today. So pull-ups are kind of one of those dreaded movements that no one really likes or they really like them and they want to be able to do a pull-up. Um, so we're going to talk about variations of pull-ups and just pulling in general and it's definitely needed for everyday life to strengthen the back muscles and just thinking about being able to pull yourself up, you know, if you're if you fall down and you need to be able to get back up or something happens, being able to pull yourself up is very functional. So it's essentially the same um, engagement as the push-up. So we have that grip, break, pull back. So from here, and I'm moving forward and back, just like when we do a push-up, but we're just flipping it. So instead of doing a kind of um, horizontal push-up, this is more of a pull-up in the opposite direction, right? We're usually pulling ourselves up vertically um, and we're just engaging a lot of the same muscles, but primarily more back muscles and a little bit more core even. So, I'm gonna show you some variations. So we have the TRX here, which is a great tool to use for a lot of movements, especially pull-ups, um, to kind of use a variation away from the traditional pull-up bar. So, traditionally, we have a palms down, arms wide, uh, pull up that this is going to demo first. So she wants to still keep her body in a nice plane. She has that position of pulling up and her elbows are about 45 degrees. So you can do that pull up a couple times using your exhale on the way up. So this is kind of our wide grip. So if we're doing it on a pull up bar, it's going to feel different than our neutral grip. So she can make this as hard as she wants based on the positioning of her feet to the anchor of the TRX. So that's kind of a unique way to do it. She can make it easier, she can make it harder. And then also we have a neutral grip, which I usually recommend people start with a neutral grip when they're just starting pull-ups. So palms facing in, and then the elbows are maybe a little bit closer here, but we are able to engage some different muscles in the front pull-up or the neutral pull-up then why it's gonna be a little bit more shoulders. Good, so let's say you don't have a TRX at home. How can I get more pull-ups or pulling motions in? What about a band? So resistance bands are great, you can just flex them, <laughs> are great for allowing us to get some pulling outside of a traditional pull-up. So when she pulls the band wide, she's still engaging through the back muscles through the arms, through the shoulders, and she can do variations of pulls. She can do pull downs overhead if she wants. So there's a lot of ways that you can add more pulling into your workouts or your everyday life without having to do a full on pull up. Now, if you wanna do a pull up, we'll have a different video that you can check out to work on um, being able to get 